You can still buy property in Brisbane for under $500,000 within 15 kilometers of the CBD in what is going to be the fastest growing capital city in Australia. This first booming suburb is called Morningside and it's actually this suburb where I did my very first property deal and it was in Morningside next to the train station that I built five houses. But this suburb is five kilometers east of Brisbane CBD and I'll take you over to some properties which have sold recently, which I think are very good buying under 500,000. This one, it is a unit. I'm not very fond of buying units, but I do think that these properties, especially for the price point, will perform pretty well over the short to medium term. So it's a top floor apartment. You can see that there. And one other thing I just wanna point out is that it's in a small complex. So when you are buying a unit, if you are in the market for units, be very selective, make sure they're in very small complexes. Similar to this, low body corporate, no lifts, no pools. So your ongoing cost of maintenance is cheap and also this is a fairly new building. So you're not going to have huge amounts of money spent on maintenance and things like that. Everton Park is another high performing suburb. It's located about nine kilometers north of Brisbane CBD. You can see at the bottom of the screen and this is Everton Park just over to the northwest. I'll zoom in and I'll show you one of these properties. This is an example of a property under $500,000 in Everton Park. So this is a two bedroom townhouse. You can see from the front, it looks pretty neat and tidy. It is a little bit dated on the inside. It's brick, low maintenance again. Um, it does look modern. It's got the concrete driveway. It doesn't look like it's cracking. It's got some gardens beside the property. So it's an alternate to a house and it's obviously a lot cheaper than buying a house in the area. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And if you love the content, please let me know in the comments below. If there's other areas you want me to analyze, please comment them as well. See you on the next one.